YouTube is about storytelling. I got a story to tell. I crashed my drones twice in 12 days. And maybe crashing a drone is not worth mentioning, but twice in 12 days? I think only the worst drone flyers can do that. So here I am. The first crash I had was just a crash and the camera gimbal broke and I had it sent to DJI. I luckily had the DJI Care coverage. So they replaced it with a new drone and I received a new unit in, I think it was 11 days, it was pretty quick, it was international shipping. I live in Austria, the DJI service center responsible for Austria is in Germany, so 11 days is not too bad. And today is day 11, so this morning I received my replacement drone and as I have a few days off this week from work, I decided I rent a small apartment in Hallstatt in Salzburg and go there and make some awesome drone footage in Hallstatt and the surrounding mountains and lakes. So I packed up the drone, the camera and all the hiking stuff I need and in the afternoon I left Vienna heading to Hallstatt. And on the way to Hallstatt I decided to make a small break by a mountain lake and fly the drone there. And that's what I did. I made a flight of 25 minutes with one battery, that's not too bad and I think I got some pretty cool video footage and thereafter the plan was to continue driving to Hallstatt. But I decided otherwise, took the second battery and let the drone fly over the lake. And when I flew the drone back to the home point, I wanted to descend the drone from 50 meters to like 8 or 10 meters above the water surface. And the water was pretty smooth, it was like a mirror, there was no wind and no waves or ripples in the water. So on the video stream on the controller I couldn't really see how low the drone is already. I checked the altitude reading and I was reading something like, I don't know, 5 meters, 6 meters, 4 meters, I don't really remember. I was just thinking, oh that's low. I immediately released the left stick in order to stop the descent and then I tried to pull up the drone, but I lost signal and obviously it was too late. I was standing there with the controller and the situation was so surreal because I just crashed the drone and did I just drown the drone? So I was standing there with the controller and I didn't really look at the drone at that time. I looked at the controller and I didn't really see it crash and there was a small peninsula and I was thinking yeah, maybe the drone just is very low above the water and it lost connection because of this peninsula. So I was waiting for the drone to rise and return to home and I was standing there for like five minutes and then I realized the drone is not coming back. I drowned it. First I didn't really realize and then it was like fuck, fuck, fuck. And I continued standing there with the controller turned on and waiting for the drone to return but it obviously didn't happen. So yeah, that was my second crash and this is a flyaway. So tomorrow I will check with DJI how we handle this flyaway scenario. I hope it's gonna be fine. I'm just a little bit pissed because I was really looking forward to these three or four days of flying the drone and making time lapses and just collecting some cool footage of the Alps and of Hallstatt and of mountain lakes and whatever comes across. And now in the evening I'm sitting in this apartment here, which is pretty nice. And I was thinking, is there anything I can do now? And so I went online and I checked if there are any used drones in the area. And yeah, I found some used Mini 3 Pros, unfortunately not in the area. But call me crazy, tomorrow I will take a two hour drive to get a used drone in order to make use of these days. And when I get my replacement unit from DJI, then I'm gonna have two DJI Mini 3 Pros. And my plan is to keep both drones, because obviously I'm not a good drone flyer. You could also call it bad luck, but let's face it, twice in 12 days, that's not bad luck, that's just stupid. So I will keep both drones, hopefully I won't need them, but we will see. Anyway, I will keep you updated as soon as the flyaway case with DJI Care is uh, finished, just in case any one of you is interested. And yeah, I think that's it for now. See you soon.